Sports Leslie Marin is live in Woodland Hills with the very latest tonight. Jeff, Susie, I can tell you LAPD investigators have since wrapped up their investigation out here on the scene, but this suspect did not want to give up. This started as a short pursuit, then a bizarre barricade eventually ending with SWAT and canines. An LAPD canine takes down a domestic violence suspect as he tries desperately to get away, following a pursuit and an hours long standoff in Woodland Hills tonight. Police first encountered the suspect driving a black sedan around 5 p.m. near the Winnetka area after they say the suspect had assaulted someone with a weapon. A short pursuit occurred, and that's when the suspect drove up to this cul de sac near Royer and Ventura Boulevard. But he doesn't give up. He decides to gun it, driving the car right through this fence and onto this steep hillside. Watch as the car just teeters along that slope. So I was like, oh my God, this thing's really real. So I seen that coming down. I was like, wait, hold up, where's this guy going to come out from? And that's when I see he got stuck there. With the car stuck, the suspect barricades himself inside. Day turns to night as hours pass. LAPD brings in SWAT teams and canines. At one point, the suspect spray paints his front windshield and side window. We don't know what he's doing uh, outside of our view. So obviously he could be doing anything from uh, moving items around inside the vehicle to arming himself. After three hours of negotiation with family of the suspect on scene, the SWAT team moves in. Watch as police fill the car with what's believed to be tear gas, and quickly the suspect gets out of the car with a knife in his hand, according to police. He takes off running up a hill as a canine rushes over. He keeps going and struggles with another canine for several seconds before a team of officers make it over, tasing the suspect. You can see as he struggles, rolling down the hill and eventually into custody. Tonight, police have yet to release any details on who that suspect is, but we're told he did leave to the hospital with minor injuries. He will be booked later tonight. Reporting live, Leslie Medin, KKL 9 News. All right, Leslie, thank you very much. Another pursuit tonight. This